welcome back back to skyward cumulative in this video i'm going to go through how to add an assignment how to edit an assignment and tag an assignment so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to sign in with my single sign on then i'm going to choose the tile for the grade book i want to work in today i'm going to work in speaking and listening you'll see that i don't have any grades in yet which is why we're starting here so I don't take attendance for this class, so there's nothing here because we are elementary, so we just have a separate course for that. When I click this arrow here underneath term one, it'll break out into speaking and listening. Then when I click the next arrow, it'll expand that even further to the topics, discussion and collaboration, comprehension, presentation of knowledge and ideas. And these are going to be my tags, my standards for speaking and listening. So I want to just start by adding assignment. When I add assignment, this is something that was from yesterday. It was due today. My category here, you have to do a category. And I'm just going to click an assignment because that's what it was. Assignment name was they had to collaborate on SEL lesson. So they had to listen to each other and hear what each other was saying and provide feedback that was helpful. Okay. So I could add a description here if I wanted to. The next thing I have to do, even though there's no red asterisk here to say this is necessary, in order to have your grade show up accurately on the report card, you need to do these next steps. The first step is you need to select a subject. So the subject is speaking and listening. So I'm gonna select that. Once I do that, it is optional, but you're gonna need a mixture of the subject and standard or just subject. So here, I'm going to click discussion and collaboration because that's what they needed to do. Now, if I wanted to add another subject and standard, I could, and you see it only has speaking and listening. What I can do is I can come down here when I'm done and I can add it to different ones after I've made the assignment. So use grade mark scoring. So just how I do it is fine. Um, and it does it how exactly how I mark it as a grade. My max score for this activity was 10 points. Weight means how much is it worth? So if I want it to just be the 10 points and normal weight like everything else, I would keep it at that. If it was a quiz, I might want to have it time one and a half weight. And what that does is that makes it worth one and a half of the score. So it would be worth 15 or point times point 1.5 weighted for the final grade. So Skyward and Cumulative will take this assignment and weigh it worth more than other activities. So maybe participation, you want to have a weight score of one, but a group project or a quiz or a test, you might want to have it weigh more. That is up to you. And that's a way that you can have it affect their score more or less without having to adjust points. I just kept this as it was score unweighted and that's what they see when they look at it because that's the grade that they were given on their activity. So now I'm gonna click save and enter scores. So I've got all my students here <coughs> and I wanna come in and I wanna put their scores in. You'll see here, this is the title of it. It's under discussion and collaboration. Score clarifier, that means like if you had something that you wanted to say about their score, you can add that here. No count means that they didn't have to do it or they're excused from it and it will not hurt their grade by clicking that and leaving it blank. Missing means that it's not there and it will hurt their score if it is not there. After that, there is also a comments section and in the comments section, you can choose something. So if you have a student that came into the school year late, you can click not enrolled yet. Or if they are excused from the activity or if they didn't, you know, anything that you want. In this one, you can also type in whatever you want it to say. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some scores here. 
you'll see that some of them, as I'm putting in scores that are above 10, instead of having to type twice, it just goes in and it puts them with a an asterisk. And so that just lets you know, hey, this doesn't look right, but we're not gonna say anything is wrong. Okay. Now I look through that and I say, oh, that's good. And I see this, I'm like, oh, that's, oh, sorry, that's not what I meant to put. I meant to put four, I meant to put eight. Okay, so I can go ahead and fix that. That was an 11 because they did an excellent job and got bonus points. It has automatically saved everything. It tells me here, all successful changes have been saved. Now, I can return to grade sheet. I can import the scores. I can also undo. If you want to change anything, you can come back here to classes sync to. Maybe this was also a writing grade. Maybe they're going to take this and it's part of their process for working on a, an interview. So I can come here and I can also sync this to their writing. Just kidding. Let's go through and return to grade sheet first. Okay, so here you will see now that I have my standard of discussion and collaboration and a score that is exceeds, progressing, meets expectations, or improvement needed. Here I have speaking and listening grade of letter grades. And here I have term one of letter grades. Now currently these two match. Now let's say I have another activity that we did. And so I'm gonna add an assignment. And last week we had an activity where we went through and we interviewed an astronaut. And so for this activity, all I want to mark is that they were attentive and listening and paying attention, kind of like a participation grade. So I'm gonna mark it as speaking and listening, but I'm not gonna mark a standard for it. I'm gonna leave it as is. And I'm only gonna put it out of four points. It's like a participation grade. So I'm gonna leave everything else the same here. I'm not gonna mess with anything. And then I'm gonna save and enter scores. And again, everyone was here. So I'm gonna, you know, how based on how they listened, I noticed, oh, I did that wrong on how they listened. Some people did pretty well. A few people were a bit squirrely. So there's different ones. Someone wasn't here. They did not pay attention at all this time. So different types of scores based on how they did. So my student that wasn't here up here, they were absent that day. They couldn't participate. I'm just gonna count them as a no count. And I'm gonna make a comment here that they were absent and that's fine. And you'll see here it says no count and a blue circle that shows that there's a comment. So I'm done with that. So I'm gonna return to grade sheet. Now, after that activity, we did something else. But here, you will notice that there is a difference between our speaking and listening grade and our term one grade. So on our speaking and listening grade, this speaking and listening grade is based off of right here and a little bit of this. Our term one grades show up when we have something under just speaking and listening and our diff one of our different sections here. If you don't have something under this one, it won't show up here. I'm not sure how that works for printing report cards and what they look like on a parent end, but if you get grades that show up here and here, you need to have something with just this one marked and stuff under here. Now, it's okay that they don't match. This is their overall grade that includes everything here. Now say after that interview, they then took their information and used it for something. So they had to make sure that they weren't just participating and listening and quiet, that they were actually learning from it. So I'm gonna click on the activity and I'm gonna click clone assignment. So now it keeps all the information the same except I'm going to change it to comprehension and I'm gonna change it to 
five points because this was something that they had to then take the information that they learned and write about what they did. So instead of just the interviewed an astronaut, this one is where they had to make a description and write what they learned. And I'm gonna keep everything else the same so that I can save and enter scores. And I will enter their scores when I'm done. If I need to go in and make a change to a score or add something, I'm gonna come up to the top of it and I'm gonna click on the title of the activity and I'm gonna click on assignment details. Here I can change something about the assignment. Maybe I want to decide that, you know what? This activity, I want it to be weighted heavier. I want it to be weighted one and a half times. I'm gonna click save changes and maybe there's someone's score that I need to go in and change. Maybe this person came back and redid it, and so they now have an eight. And then it's automatically saved it. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.